Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alrighty, Schneidies. It's going to be for my lions. And I almost said my bear cubs. Okay. Um, who had that bear and it wasn't a cub? <laughs> I don't know. Aquarius, maybe? Regardless, this is, um, this is for my Leos. So this is going to be for the entire month of January. Okay. Um, and then this is going to be the first half of January 2020. Hi. Did you Yo. I did. They're going crazy downstairs. They are? Yeah. They're meowing you. so much. Meow, 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 meow. They, and every time I like start walking, they both start running to their room. So attention. No, they both start like, anytime I like, get up to go to the bathroom, like, they just start like running to the cat room because I think I'm going to feed them. Oh, well, I already fed them. Yeah. I'm making a kiss. How was your night? Good. Want to take pussy with you? Oh, oh, look at that. You didn't see that coming, right? <laughs> All right, so it's, it's ironic because I'm dealing with my lions, right? And it was just 111. And Lonnie just got home and she was talking about Kessel and Max, which are the, obviously our cats. And they ran into the room like they needed to be fed. And, and I almost said something about bear cubs, right? So a it could just be a lion cub like there's something about you that feels young or that needs to be nurtured um something needs to be fed okay so that that message is definitely for for someone okay and then lucy doesn't hardly ever go with her first thing in the morning she just sticks with me when i when i do my reads and you know she didn't hesitate she she went after it she she went so there might be something coming that you don't see because that's why I said the Lani like something you don't you didn't see that coming right so if you're dealing with uh, Leo and you're cross watching maybe there's just something you don't see coming all right so any who's um let's let's continue let's continue so let's see the overall energy for my lions my Leos January 2020 Okay, could be dealing with the Queen of Wands. So this is this is your energy that you're in. You got the Nine of Raphael at the bottom of the deck, which is the Nine of Cups. Making a wish. Um, something about going after your dreams. What what zodiac was that? Going after your dreams. That was Aquarius. So yeah, there's something with, and I think they had the Bear Cub. Okay, so you might want to watch Aquarius. Um, You can do anything right now. Go after what it is you want. The ability to attract. This is you. Passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. It doesn't feel like you, though. It's Sag energy. You might be dealing with a Sag. But Sag wasn't really themselves. There was an another Zodiac, right? Um, that was coming and swinging. With a whole bunch of Sag energy. If somebody wants the, the label. Could have been Gemini. I feel like this is somebody you're dreaming of. Got the lovers right there. So there's there's a Sag or a, it's Sag energy is just is it's don't you don't necessarily need to be even dealing with a Sag. This is more like um it's you're the first one to. to get a, a person out of all the zodiacs you're the 11th one I'm doing and it was just 111 um, so you're either thinking of a Sag or a woman so there's either my my Leo women very seductive charming or this is my Leos can't get their minds off of 
Queen of Wands, which can be any zodiac. Look at it. she might even own cats. <laughs> I think you're dreaming or well, fantasizing. It's a very fantasizing card. This could be you being like, I, I take it on this energy. All right, let's get into it. It's going to be for my Leo's first half of January 2020. King of Acorn, which is the King of Wands, so I, I feel like this is you guys' energy. Um, staying optimistic, but not not really knowing what to do. Like, wanting to charge, but not, not charging. Like, there's a lot of masculine energy. I've been feeling, with this card that's coming out a few times, uh, this, you know, the, this energy has been coming out to all, all the Zodiacs. Um, this could be a life partner. I mean, this is a countersuit. It's, it's like meeting your match. So this is definitely... Um, you're all up in your feelings with something. It is someone, actually. You are the first Zodiac to be all up in your head uh, about a, a situation, a person. Leo, first half of January, when well, that flew out, which is the eight of air. So it's, it's, it's you having the courage. This is, you know, Leo is all about courage, compassion. This is you having the courage to solve a situation. You're feeling <clears throat> restricted. You're feeling like your hands are tied. But your hands are not tied. First of all, you got freaking hooves. Okay? So, your hands are not tied. You think they're tied. be dealing with a cancer or well, this is you in feminine energy cancer represents uh, the queen of cups represents you know love um someone who's very nurturing and compassionate it is wears their heart on their sleeve type energy so it's almost like you have another energy it could be two different women. I, I don't see anything like that right now, but like she's watching you or she knows something about you or she's just, she wants peace with you. So she wants peace and comfort but when you think about it, you think about the passion, the charm. You definitely admire because I feel like you know this one's capable of anything and you're just hoping something succeeds. So it's like you got your eye on someone and someone's got their eye on you. And it's like having the courage to face whatever this is regarding. I mean, it's Mingya troops. It's, it's feminine energy. This is you as a feminine being like, whew, you're feeling good. 
you're on fire. Or this is literally a masculine Leo coming in as Aries, so you might want to watch Aries, thinking about this woman. And if that's the case, if there are lengths, okay. Oh, see, you're watching this woman. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> you're definitely you're definitely dealing with a, a, a Sag or a Cancerian woman if you're masculine if you're feminine this is you gotten your eye on a, a Leo or an Aries or a fire uh, uh, air air sign She's either dreaming of you, you're dreaming of her. This is your energy, so you're you're dreaming of her. It's like once one in, once in a lifetime. You want your dream to become reality? You can. I don't know if you are already intimate with this person, or you just know. To me, with the energy that's on the board, this is just quite the bond. Um. But with the seven of Michael right there, you know, there's a better course of action here. Something a, a better a better course of action available to you. You know, working alone may not be the best answer. So it's almost like there's, there's somebody here, this lover, whoever this woman is, Cancer or Sag, or, or any, any element, okay? It's you two work better together. Babe, you know that song? You make me better. You make me better. First things first, I love what you do. I believe it's Cassie. Baby girl, you make me better. Wow. It's like you're trying to solve this by yourself. Or... You, this is a lover, okay? There's somebody else in your life, and you're trying to decide between two people, or you're not even trying to decide. It's just, it is what it is. And But Spirit's still saying there's a better course of action. Like, you can't be with somebody and then be all up in somebody else's energy. It's just, it's not cool. Right? And then, look at peace. It's like, she wants the peace, too. You both want the damn peace. And then King of Cups, Queen of Cups. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. It's, you, you met your match. But you're not doing anything about it. But you could. You could if you wanted to. You're watching her. She's watching you. She's waiting for you to have... Mm, I don't know if it's courage or not. It's, it's, but she's, it's, she's, she's not waiting. Because I think she already knows something. She's very intuitive. Both of these are very intuitive. Helpful people. Like, like if you're talking or not talking, she's she's the peacemaker. Alright, and, and it's, you definitely don't know what to do. You're watching her, and she's watching you. She's like, will he come up with some type of solution? Can he be optimistic about this situation? Tell me about the King of Acorn. King of Wands, please. That's too many. But I did see the king of air come out. So you're all up in your head mentally. Whether or not to take action. You got the page of crystals. See, you're very disciplined. You're very, you're very disciplined. I think you're going to come up with some type of solution. There's some type of idea. It's, it's like, <laughs> I just heard that song. I can't fight this feeling anymore. You guys have a lot of music. I forget what other Zodiac had a lot of music too. I, I believe it was air. Um, 
but this is the, the page of pence. You're trying to figure out some type of strategy, solution. But it's like you're doing it alone. The universe is saying, why don't you discuss it with this person and you guys work on it together. You could be dealing with somebody extremely intuitive, but you're trying to solve something yourself. Like you're very logical, practical right now. But it's, it's, it's almost like you have a countersuit here when it comes to water and fire. Try to solve it together. Tell me about the eight of feathers. So you're definitely feeling restricted in, in some type of situation, okay? So you got the three of shells here. It's, it's, it's bliss. There's a situation that definitely brings a, a smile to your face. This is celebration. This is happiness. This is this. So when you think about this person, you know, it, it's, it's definitely happiness. Um, you definitely want a new start. Tell me about the Queen of Shells. So this will give you some insight on what's going on with the feminine if you're masculine. Because you guys are coming in masculine. So, damn. Okay, so either you're secluding yourself from her or she's now secluding herself from you. Okay, she is going to move forward. She is extremely successful. There is something spiritual about her. She's She has a burst of self-empowerment. She's very to the point where she can have different perspectives on, on different things. She's resting. She's healed. To me, it's, it's you guys are not talking. But there's something you guys know about each other. Right? She could be successful. This is some type of spiritual victory. Uh, this is not anxiety. This is, this is like... Um, self-empowerment like whatever she went through she pushed through could be dealing with somebody who's a heavy meditator again air had that she does seem to be to have a little anxiety about the situation though even though she backed off it's almost like she knows, you're dealing, you're dealing with someone who's very intuitive, knows there could have been success. Or something can still be successful. You know, it's, I don't know, at the bottom of the deck, it's the Ace of um, Swords, which is, you know, mental clarity of foundation. Could she be waiting on some type of clarity? Or, I mean, she's looking up, you know, so it's almost like, she already has it. She already she already sees a foundation. She already has the clarity. She's very intuitive. She the, you're dealing with someone extremely intuitive. Clear as day. She 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 knows. You're watching her. She's she's and she knows you could be her her dream, you know, her wish. But um tell me about is the, the page of feathers real quick please page of feathers the tower okay so the this this you could be dealing with a squat but this is you need to release this this whole watching whatever it is you're doing this this fantasizing you need to break free break free with with something because I don't see action being taken. This is you thinking about this particular energy. It's like a wish come true. It's something you want, but you're not going after. She 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 knows that her her intuition is just like I know who you are. It, it's almost like she doesn't need the mental clarity. But you guys are not together. But you're trying to figure out, you're trying to figure it out, but it's, it's almost saying if you, if you want to figure it out, you know, make the choice, figure it out with this person. It's like you're working alone right now. It's like working alone is not the best answer. Release your past. There's something you need to release in order for you to have this. Let go of it. 
You're in love with someone else. So I don't know what you're holding on to. But something needs to be released. So you can have this peace with with, with someone that, that you love. Okay? So I wish you the best. If you're not going to take action on this, you know, do your best to get this out of your head. I don't, you guys are all entwined in your energy. She, she's got you all up in her head too. Best of luck in the next couple weeks with this situation. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Where's my mouse? Mm-hmm. <clears throat>